there is a growing digital divide in our country. If your city doesn't have healthy broadband, your city is not going to survive economically. When you don't have sufficient access to broadband, you're not going to be able to participate in everyday decisions that our democracy makes. Cities and towns need to be able to decide their broadband future. And it should be decided for them by incumbent broadband providers. We can't solve our biggest problems in America without broadband. My parents really shaped my perspectives uh, when it comes to broadband access and affordability. I come from a, a family of immigrants. Uh, my dad immigrated from Ethiopia during the 70s when he was facing uh, political persecution. And he came to this country with really nothing but uh, his own uh, hard work and ingenuity. And he raised a family. And that really showed me that there's a lot of inequities in this country and broadband access is just one of them. Access to broadband service is critical in the 21st century. It is access to opportunity, to education, to health care, to financial services. We talked to one state legislator who worked on bringing broadband to his community. He said, broadband may not save this community, but not having broadband would kill it. Climate change, agriculture, the economy, the list goes on and on. Each of these different problems requires solutions that ride on broadband networks. That's why broadband is fundamental. Learning what has been done, what can be done, that's the most empowering source of knowledge for broadband going forward. States matter when it comes to broadband. States matter when it comes to getting folks online. They can serve as leaders and models for national leaders and for local leaders as well. Next Century Cities is, is, a, is a great organization uh, that is really at the front lines of, of trying to bring better connectivity to uh, cities around the country and uh, we're excited to, to count them as a, as a partner and ally. This organization provides such crucial tools and resources for communities who just don't know where to start. When I think of Next Century Cities, I think of the broad network of local elected officials that you represent, uh, that they're an important voice as leaders in their community, leaders who uh, understand that federal policy has an impact on the local level. The reason NCC plays such an important role in this debate on broadband access is that regardless of where the communities are at, NCC is standing up. Whether it be a indigenous community, whether it be rural communities, midwestern states, that's where NCC is doing their best work and standing up for those communities and making sure that everyone has access regardless of where they are. When I think of next century cities, I think of cities connecting citizens, all the people in their communities so that the communities will be stronger.